How fast can this Seeker X accelerate to its top speed and how long can it drive that? My name is Bastia and welcome to Electric on Wheels. This is the Seeker X long range, so that means a 0 to 100 time of 5.6 seconds and a top speed of 180 km per hour. The purpose of this video is really simple. I will accelerate this car from 0 to 100 km per hour and then all the way to its top speed, see how long that takes, drive its top speed until the battery is empty and see how far I can do that. I probably can't do it more than 180 km because most cars that I test can't do its top speed for more than an hour, but let's find out. Hi there, I am in Germany at my usual starting point because it is time to accelerate this bad boy from 0 to 180 km an hour. Yeah, the car is in sport mode and yes, as you can see, unfortunately, it is still dark outside. It is late autumn, the sun comes up a little bit later, it is 7.15 at the moment. The sun comes up in around 30 to 45 minutes, but I have to do it now because of the busyness on the road. And because, well, I have other things to do today. So during my top speed range test, it will get light and you will get to see more. I'm sorry, it just is what it is. I probably won't do these tests in the winter because then you won't see shit. And that's not fun, right? So the car is in sport mode. Let's get to the entrance of the highway. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Well, let's put the car in drive. That's very handy. There we go. Yep, my audio is recording. Very important. Very important. Let's drive here slowly. The car can't be in one pedal drive mode when we have sport acceleration on for some reason. Don't know why. There are cars coming, so let's stand still. After this car, we can go. It's still really quiet on the road, so that's nice. Okay, one two three go there it goes rear wheel drive no wheel spin that's very good 100 already oh damn i didn't see that let's go move it 50 60 70 80 wow that is quick it's still going it's still going 188 on the speedo wow I think it's doing 185, something like that. 180 my ass, 180 my ass. It's quiet-ish. It's not that quiet in here now. The car is quiet while driving 130 kilometers an hour though, but now, yeah, can be better. Damn it, I forget, forgot to reset my trip. Fuck me. All right, let's accelerate again. What I did is reset my trip in the infotainment system for my top speed range test. I forgot that, and then it's very difficult to know how far this car can drive while doing its top speed. Man, it accelerates so quick. It's crazy, it's not even reaching its power limit. Not even reaching it, no, 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 no. They were lying to me, they were lying to me, I'm doing 189 and not 180 kilometers an hour. Besides that, in general, the car feels very stable. What if you get on a rougher road because the suspension is a little bit more comfortable than in, for example, the Volvo EX30, it can start to feel a bit wobbly and gives you a bit less confidence. So yeah, he is not doing 130, he's driving way faster because I'm not overtaking him that quick. But yeah, that is basically the status now. I do think I have to yell, at least I have to talk a little bit louder. It is, you know, I'm doing very high speed, so it's normal that it's not the most quiet car in this price class. So I can forgive it that, yeah. Let's just keep on cruising and I will give you an update when I turn around and accelerate again. Okay, I am turning around and what doesn't help with the darkness is that it's going to be a dull day anyway. It's going to be very grey again, like the past week. Yeah, this weather is really depressing. I mean, where's the sun? Where's the nice winter, autumnish sun weather? Where it is cold, but the sun is shining. Is he allowed to go? Yes, he is, because it's freaking Germany. All right, that's where I have to go. Or at least in that direction, because that is the Netherlands. Get on the highway again. 
Slow but steady, slow but steady. Should be a little bit light now. You should be able to see something. At least I can. It's not completely dark, luckily. Because doing these tests while it's completely dark, yeah. Not a big fan anymore. Not a big fan anymore since I have a baby. All right. Highway ramp, let's go, power. It seems to pick up a little bit slower than before, which can be because I am at 54% state of charge. So there's probably going to, yeah, there's already a bit of a power limit. I'm not having full power at the moment. So when I do my next acceleration to top speed, it will be a lot slower than my first one because of, well, power limits. Hello, coming through, coming through at, I can still do 189 though. I can still do that, so no power limit in that regard. No power limit in that regard. Oh, oh, and I forgot to mention, just like my normal range test, which you can see by a pop-up somewhere up there, uh, I don't know my average consumption at the moment because I do have a trip here, but the trip is only showing me distance and my total consumption in kilowatt hours. So how much kilowatt hours I have taken out of the battery while doing this trip. So afterwards I have to calculate my average consumption per 100 kilometers. It's just it is what it is. Look how empty the highway is at the moment. Wow. It's very quiet on the road. Also yesterday when I did my 130 kilometers per hour range test, it was really quiet in the evening. It's bad weather. People don't like to go out anymore, which I sort of understand, sort of do. Yeah, all right, let's keep on going and do a new acceleration. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I am doing 189 kilometers an hour and whoa, there he goes. 200 to 10, something like that. Yeah, that's what you can expect in Germany from time to time. That's why you always have to watch out. Always look to the left how fast people are driving. Wow. I am back at my starting point. The car has now 12% state of charge instead of 88. So let's see how it will accelerate now. It should have a power limit because the Volvo EX30 did too. It's still really quiet on the road. Wow, that, this surprises me because in summer it was busy already at this time of the day. So let's go. Yeah, 100. It's not as quick anymore as it was. 140, 160, 70, and 180, yeah. All right, there is a power limit. Let's see how much it was in the edit afterwards. And now let's slow down because I have 10% left to reach the supercharger, which is 25 kilometers away. That should be fine while driving. 100 ish so let's do that and then i can reach the supercharger and then i can give you the results i am charging i arrived here with two percent state of charge yeah i know but anyway the result of the top speed range test and because the trip of this car shows you different information than other cars the result is a bit more compact than normal because you can drive on one full battery with this car while driving its top speed of 180 kilometers an hour even though i could do 189 on the speedo 140 kilometers which is on par with the volvo ex30 the average consumption was around 44 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers in summer you can maybe do a bit more in winter or well it is around 7 degrees celsius at the moment but if it is colder maybe a bit less, but if it is colder, maybe you shouldn't do it anymore. Because in winter, I probably won't do it as well, unless the temperature is, I don't know, five degrees or more. So yeah, that was the result actually already, 140 kilometers while driving its top speed. So thank you a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and then as always, to be continued.